Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about a very interesting topic in service now called trend reports which is used to see a specific trend in maybe incident tickets or change tickets or in any of your custom tables. We will be going through the introduction what are trend reports and what are its benefits and finally we will see a demo on the change table. If you want to jump to a specific topic the link is in the description. First of all the introduction what are trend reports. So trend reports allow you to visualize changes in data over time. They help you identify patterns, trends and anomalies. So for example, if you want to see a trend, how many incidents were raised in the month of January, Feb and March, and then you can plan a strategy according to that. So for example, in December, the incidents might be less and then you might want to have less people in your team or less number of contractors in your team. And then in January, when the business is back, you would want to ramp up your team and then you can make more strategies according to those patterns. By analyzing trends, you can make informed decisions. So these are the decisions which you can make or the management can make looking at these trends. One other example which I can think of is if you create a trend report based on the days and you would see that during the daytime you get more incidents compared to the night time. So you would want to have more team members during the daytime compared to the night time. There are many more examples where trend reports can be beneficial. So let me know in the comments if you can think of any other example as well. Next is what are benefits of trend reports. The first one is improved decision making. Yes, you can make informed decisions proactive problem identification and finally the third one is enhanced service delivery so you can have an estimate on how much time the team is taking to resolve an incident and so on in the demo we would be creating a trend report showing number of changes opened in the last year we will be looking at the changes which were opened during the month of January, Feb and March and so on till December and then we would analyze that how people have been raising changes, what are the particular months in which the changes are mostly created and then the change team can make the plans accordingly and the upper management can make the decisions accordingly. So we will look at that trend report. So I'm using out of the box data. So the data which you would create at your organization might differ or it will be definitely different. But when you show that report to your upper management or your, to your change management team, they would be able to see in this particular month, the number of changes were higher compared to the other months. So for example, maybe in December, what I think according to my experience is lot of teams try to create as many changes as possible. They try to release their products before the change freeze after 15th of December. So they try to do that in first 15 days. There is a lot of pressure, but it might be possible that this is different in your organization. So let's quickly jump into service now and see how can we create this trend report on the change table. I'm in my service now and I will go ahead and create a report. If you don't know how to create reports in service now or basics of reporting, please click on the top right corner where I have created a video to show how to create basic reports in service now. I will just minimize my navigator and I will give the name here. I can say CM trend report. That means change management trend report. I'll keep the source type as table and I will select the table name as change underscore request. So that's the backend name of the table which stores the changes. So you would have to select this table. The front end name of the table is change request. The backend name is change underscore request. I will click on next and here I will select the report type. I will type here trend and I would select maybe this bar type of trend report. I will click on next and here I have the option to group by so I will be grouping this report by when the changes were created so I will select created so this created column stores the date and time of when the change was actually created the first time secondly I have to select trend by in here I will select again created next I will select the calendar as standard calendar and here instead of per year I will select it as per month because I need the trend report as per month of the previous year so we will put that condition in a second I will keep the aggregation as count because I need the count of the changes which were created during those months I will click on next after this if I scroll down you would see we have the changes which were created during the month of July 2015 August 2015 
and so on you would see the highest number of changes were created in october 2023 so what i will do now is i will put another condition here where i would want to see only the changes which were created in 2023 for that i will scroll up i will go here again i will search for the column created and created on and you would see there are many options here i will select years and i will select last year so that means we are currently in 2024 I'll, if i select last year it will show me the changes from the 2023 i will save this now again and if i scroll down i would see there are three changes which were raised in january one change in april 2023 and 61 in october if i click on this report it will be a drill down and you would see there are 61 changes here and all of them were raised in 2023 October. So you would see the open date which I have put here using this personalized list button. And if you scroll down till the bottom, you would see all of them were raised in 2023. Now, if you would want to put any other condition, you can go ahead and add that in the condition builder. For example, if you would want to put the assignment group, if you want to search for some specific assignment group, you can go ahead and do that as well. For example, if I want to select for hardware group and save that, you would see there were 36 changes created by the hardware team or where the assignment group was hardware and those were only in October. So you can find a trend that the hardware team actually created all their changes during the month of October and they did not create any other change during the whole year. So you would want to do some R&D why they are doing it only in the month of October and then you can make informed decisions. Or if I remove this condition again and I save this report, you would see there are many changes raised in October compared to January and April. So you would want to analyze that why people are creating so many changes in October. Why not in August? Why not in November or December? So you can find a trend in that. So this is out of the box data. I know it doesn't make sense. It's test data but in your organization you will definitely find a trend and if you do some R&D you would make amazing decisions looking at the trend reports. Thanks everyone for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any feedback or any comments please let me know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please hit that like button.